Hey everybody, Jam Creates here. Got another comic book review for you. This is Midnight Mystery issue number two uh, from Alterna Comics and Bernie Gonzalez. Um, if you remember my review of the first issue, I absolutely loved it. Um, and I could not wait to jump right into this one and read this one. Um, great cover, once again, fantastic colors cool monochromatic look with all the purples um just a lot of really cool stuff um really really just they, they really do a good job um with this book um so anyway uh if you remember the last issue um now if you didn't read issue one it, it's it ends on a cliffhanger and now this is continuing the story there so if you didn't read issue one i wouldn't recommend watching this review until after you've read issue one because now I'm gonna have to spoil the end of issue one when I jump into the beginning of issue two there's just no way around it um, so if you haven't read issue one pause this video go read it and then come back uh, okay so I will try again to be spoil as spoiler free as I can be um, if some stuff slips through I am absolutely sorry I definitely don't want to ruin it for you because this is a great great series uh, so anyway Issue 2, Midnight Mystery. This is number 2 in a 4-issue series. And... We're jumping in. And I hear my phone ringing in the background. Uh, my house phone. Okay, it rang once and that was it. Alright, never mind. Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, the, that is the level of professionalism you could expect here from Jam Creates. Um... Anyway, uh, so we jump in, and it even gives you um, a cool little recap. So if you didn't read issue one, and you just happen to, to grab issue two for some reason, it even has previously on Midnight Mystery. And it, it really actually does a pretty good job of catching you up. And um, so where we ended, um, our, our hero, uh, Zeke King... Ezekiel King, the detective, and the son of the late-night movie host uh, were knocked unconscious. Uh, and there's um, definitely some backstory stuff building up here. You're not really sure um, what this is. And then uh, he wakes up, Zeke wakes up, and he's tied to a chair. And, you know, uh, the kid is <laughs> tied up inside some kind of weird circle with um the skull paper mache skull of his deceased father and um it turns out that the uh it turns out that the uh the butler is trying to do some kind of weird black magic to bring back the other guy into his son's body so that he can continue to live count karloff he's trying to bring him back apparently when Carl, when he was old, he met this weird like witch person who put his soul inside this paper mache skull, and um, now there's gonna they're gonna try and transfer his soul into his son's body because he needs an heir in order. It has to be someone related for him to go into him. It's this whole like crazy uh, witchcraft you know thing. It really is perfect for the um. The environment that they cultivate in this book and for the timeless era it is very much again i said this in the first about the first issue and i'll say it again about this one is incredibly obviously uh influenced by batman the animated series and bruce tim and the art style thereof and even the storytelling in a way is definitely influenced by this i mean i said it uh with the last issue i'll say it again here that I really feel that this could easily have been a spin-off from Batman the Animated Series. Like, there could have been an ish an episode of Batman the Animated Series where they introduced Zeke and then spun him off into his own series. Um, by the way, I know I mentioned it before, but I always like to... Oh, I forgot they do it at the end. That's right. Uh, never mind. Um, the credits. Uh, Bernie Gonzalez... And Wes Loker. Bernie Gonzalez did the writing and the um, 
and the art. Uh, Wes did the lettering. Um, so they try to do this mind transference thing. Um, and the kid is trying to fight it. He doesn't understand, but his, his dead father is talking to him. And then uh, somebody else shows up. And it turns out that she was the bro she was, I'm sorry, the sister of the deceased uh, movie host. The butler is all like, get out of here. And she's like, you know, trying to stop him. And it's a whole, it turns into a whole thing. And there's a little, uh, you get a little more backstory on who the host was as a child and his, his upbringing. And then you get a, a feel for her upbringing as well. Um, and it's, it's very interesting because, like, they give you this backstory that details who this guy is and maybe why he is the way he is. Really good storytelling, honestly. It's very good storytelling. And things get out of hand. And I don't want to spoil the ending. Um, you know, I really don't want to spoil the ending. There is something I wanted to show you guys, but... Um, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it. Um, well, anyway, um, so there is, there is, there is an ending that ends very, uh, it's a very proper ending, I would say. Um, and it, you know, it, it leads, it, it's an, the ending you would expect from a story of this type, let's say. And then just for good measure. <laughs> They throw in this funny little advertisement for creepy cakes at the end. And it's literally just like an old school ad for like, you know, some kind of like chocolate cake thing. Like they used to have like the, um, the old ads for like Hostess fruit pies and all the comic books back in the day. Um, it's, it's very funny. Like it's, it's silly. It's one page. It's funny. Um, so anyway, to just jump back um, into, uh, what I have, you know, about this, about the book itself, the art continues to be fantastic. Um, it really just has that Bruce Tim amazing Batman, the animated series vibe to it that I just can't get enough of. It really is fantastic. Um, to me, it this is a classic style that the minute you see it, it evokes a certain feeling. And the red skies and the, the colors that are you everything about it is just really top notch. Like they really nail that feeling of you know, that 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 Batman the animated series vibe. I mean, that's obviously what they're going for, and they nail it a hundred percent. Um, you know, he he Bernie Gonzalez absolutely just hits a home run with his design and his colors and his art and then on top of everything the storytelling is wonderful like the storytelling is absolutely fantastic he does a great job getting you to care about the characters building mystery so that you're trying to to figure out what's happening and then some then there's the twists and turns and things that happen and really just a great job in getting you invested in not just the the world but getting you invested in the characters getting you invested in this the plot of this of this particular issue and the overall plot like when you finish reading issue one you want to jump right into issue two and then you want to know how what's going to happen you want to know how it ends um and I'll tell you, they, they really have a winner on their hands here. Alterna Comics, Peter, you did a great job greenlighting this. I mean, although I get the feeling it was kind of a no-brainer. If it came to me, I would have absolutely greenlit this too. Um, but really just a, a top-notch job. And from, my, from what I understand, I believe, um, I know this is a four-issue series. And... My understanding is that there is going to be a follow-up series. They've already said that there will be a follow-up series because this one has been uh, very successful so far, which is great to hear. I'm very happy to hear that because I want to read more of this. This is something I absolutely want to read more of. And I, I, I have issue three. I read issue three. I will post a review of issue three as well. 
Um, and I'm going to tell you what, I'm looking forward to issue four. Uh, a little spoiler alert, still like it. Um, so anyway, um, that is Midnight Mystery number two from Alterna Comics. And again, and I know I point this out a lot. Um, uh, by the way, if you're curious, um, it is a teen rated book. There's really nothing in here that's, like, horrific uh, in terms of, like, violence or anything that, you know, a teen easily, no problem. I think you could even go as low as, as t 11, 12-year-old could probably enjoy it, um, depending on your kid. I mean, obviously, you would know your kid better than I would. Um, and I always point this out, but a dollar fifty, man. Alterna Comics just continues to hit home run after home run, and it's so cheap. It's $1.50, man. It's a four-issue series. You know what that means? For $1.50 each, for four issues, for four issues, it's $6, and you can get an entire series for 6 bucks. That's almost the same price that the other the big two will charge you for one issue it's crazy it's absolutely crazy and it's fantastic it's the way it should be honestly um so anyway uh i really enjoy this series a lot i am all for hyping this series as many people as possible need to jump on this series you need to it is that good it is really really good um so anyway, if you, so yes, absolutely, 100%, Midnight Mystery, number two, also number one, also number three, number four hasn't come out yet, but I'm going to get, I'm going to guess it's probably good too. Um, but anyway, um, definitely, 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 if you're a fan of Batman the Animated Series, you cannot miss this at all. You have to get this. That's required reading. Um, so anyway, um, fantastic book absolutely recommend if you like this video and want to recommend this video that would be cool um you can hit the like button you can subscribe if you're not already subscribed if you are subscribed you could tell all your friends to subscribe or you could make alternate accounts and you could subscribe with those too now don't really do that that's just that's kind of silly um but anyway um enjoy my crazy comforter hopefully that will bring me more views like i said in another video um and that's it. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm at jam underscore creates. Oh, yeah. Hit that bell for notifications um, and all that good happy horse pucky. Um, so anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon, and I will see you later.